Welcome to CareSource. Hi, I'm Marsha, and I'm so glad you've taken time to learn how to get fit and enjoy a more active lifestyle, courtesy of your friends at CareSource. And now it is my pleasure to introduce you to CareSource personal trainer, Becky. Welcome to Fitness Minute. I'm your host, Becky. Today, we're going to learn two simple exercises that you can do right there at home that will begin to improve the quality of your life, help you feel better starting today, build some strength, and just to get you moving. The first exercise I wanna teach you today is a squat. But please, if you are experiencing any physical problems at this point in time, if you haven't exercised for a long time, or if you have a family history of a lot of physical problems, please consult your physician before you start. We want you to be safe when you're doing these exercises. All you're gonna need for this exercise is a chair. Kitchen chair would be great, just a sturdy chair. I need you to go and stand in front of it. Your feet will be about shoulder width apart. And to begin with, I just want you to sit down in the chair and then stand up. If you can do that 10 times without any effort, then you need to move forward of the chair a little bit so you'll reach back and barely touch it and stand up. And when you can do that about 10 times without too much effort, I want you to move away from the chair, keep that same motion, sit back in your hips, and you're just gonna do a free form squat. Once you can build yourself up to doing 10 repetitions, the goal is to try to do three sets of 10 repetitions and do them pretty much every other day, not every day. Every other day, three sets, 10 repetitions, and that's your squat. A great exercise to do at home is the push-up. All you need for this is some counter space or the back of your couch. And I want you to start in modified version to make sure that you've got your body in the right position before we progress it. So on a countertop, I want your hands shoulder width apart. Your body stays rigid, your abdomen nice and tight so you can hold your body in this position. We're just gonna lower and press away. Once you can do this for approximately 10 repetitions and do it safely, then it's time to progress and to take it on to the next level. Once you've mastered the exercise standing against the counter or the, or the back of your couch, then I want you to come to the floor. We're gonna do kneeling push-ups and then full body push-ups. Again, the same rule of thumb applies. Once you get to 10 of them and it starts getting a little easier, then we need to progress it so that it gets a little harder. So modified push-up on the floor. Hands are shoulder width apart. You're gonna lower and press. Full body push-up. Pop up on your toes, keep your body rigid, lower, and press. So once you've mastered the full body push-up, then you're going to want to recognize that it's gonna take a little while to get there. You don't start out with 10 repetitions all at once. Start with what you can do, whether it's modified on the, on the standing or on the kneeling or in the full body, and work yourself up to that three sets of 10 repetitions. Thanks for joining us for this Fitness Minute. It's been my pleasure to bring you these exercises. It's my hope for you that you will learn to work with these in a progressive manner and that you will enjoy doing them and that you will build up to about 30 minutes a day of exercise so that you can increase your energy and your stamina and your strength. So I wish you good luck and good fitness.